Well, I really feel that Japan has changed significantly over the 25 years. While it's actually getting worse in terms of like sightseeing, to be honest. People say you should visit Japan now because Japanese yen is you know, really getting cheaper. But apart from that, there are so many other reasons you may not have noticed yet and overlook visiting Japan now. It's said that Japan's population will decrease by 33 million in the next 25 years, which is significant, which is like equivalent to one fourth of Japan's total population at the moment. You know, therefore, I presume many tourist destinations that can be like visited now may not be easy to access in the near future. Well, I have like three example in my hometown. My hometown is like famous as a hot spring area. Well, on the other hand, like I was told like my, you know, hometown area used to have population of like 6,000 people when I was young. But recently I heard that it now has uh, like roughly 4,000 people, which means that the population has decreased by, you know, one third in the past 20 years. As a result, you know what happened? We know the number of trains has like significantly decreased in my hometown because some stores have closed and everything is like becoming more like inconvenient to be honest. But of course, I don't think famous tourist spots like even in rural areas will disappear immediately. If, however, if accessibility works in, like tourists will like stay away and it's possible that like these areas will decline. So if you want to visit a place in Japan, especially a rural area, like rather than a city like Tokyo, you should visit Japan as soon as possible. But after the COVID-19 pandemic ended, the issue that has rapidly started to become a problem in recent years is over tourism. Well, the number of foreign visitors to Japan continues to break all-time records, but well, almost every month, to be honest. Well, it's not a completely bad thing, you know. I really appreciate like many people, maybe including you, visit Japan. But it doesn't mean we can overwork the program. You know, although it's likely to be updated soon, the current record for the highest number of foreign visitors to Japan was set in 2018, I guess, uh, with roughly like 30 million. Well, meanwhile, the Japanese government aimed to reach 60 million visitors by 2030 which is like in five or like six years so in short there is a possibility that the number of tourists like foreign tourists in japan could double in a few years you know what like in recent years like the increase in like tourists and the variations of manners you know among other things like had led to increase in places where tourism is banned unfortunately you know even it's happened a lot for people to give up on like sightseeing like due to like long queues however like considering that the number of tourists is expected to increase in the future it's clear that like traveling to japan as soon as possible will likely be more comfortable you know it's human nature not to doubt what we take for granted today will still be there tomorrow well don't worry I'm the same. But if there are places in Japan you want to see or visit, that is more than enough reason for you to visit Japan now. Reason why I really want to talk about this topic is, you know, Shuri Castle in Okinawa, a world heritage site, was completely burned down due to a fire incident. You know, it's, it's currently being uh, like under constructing and rebuilt and is planned to be like open for tourism in the future, I guess in 2026 or something. But remember, while well, in Japan, where well, natural disasters such as like earthquake and the tsunami, typhoon are like really frequent, well, you can't forget that the places you want to visit in Japan could disappear without a trace more often than in other countries. Well, even Mount Fuji, a famous tourist spot in Japan, has the potential to erupt and we don't know when it might become impossible to climb. Mount Fuji is one of the places I want to visit but I haven't been able to yet, so I plan to climb it sometime next year. Alright, so another thing I really worry about now in Japan is, you know, the temperature. Well, this is not only in Japan, but honestly, the recent climate changes have been like, you know, insane. Like for example, the summer in Tokyo, 
like this year there have been like many days where the temperature reached like over like 36 or 37 degrees and it's almost impossible to sleep without air conditioning at night but however thinking about when i was young uh you know like 15 to 20 years ago why well, it was possible to sleep normally without air conditioning at night so you know japan has four like distinct seasons as you know and each season has its own way of enjoying itself therefore the impact of like temperature fluctuation is like quite significant in this country what well, a clear example of this can be seen with cherry blossoms if the temperature rise continues what well, it said that there will be areas where cherry blossoms will not bloom in the future and it might stop snowing as well while well, the temperature should not be under estimated well, especially during this hot summer while well, many tourists use their holidays to travel to japan well i know that but however walking around various places in this heat is not an easy task even for like you know young generation even like age 20s it's expected the temperature will continue to rise so it's unlikely that the temperature will improve from the current situation all right so the next thing is the japanese culture I think Japanese culture is unique and fascinating. Do you agree with that? Well, however, we can't overlook that traditional festivals and crafts are like struggling with a lack of successors in Japan. While many foreigners, maybe including you, enjoy cultural experience in the cities they visit, but the opportunities to have like such cultural experiences are like decreasing, unfortunately, year by year. Well, especially since I have been living in Japan for a long time, you know, I can't help but realize, you know, like many things, including our lifestyle, have changed from the past. Let's say, for example, most of the new houses being bought in Japan are, you know, obviously Western style, not traditional Japanese style anymore. The number of Japanese people sleeping on stun is decreasing. There are like probably many young Japanese people who have never experienced that Japanese tea ceremony. Why like, change may be inevitable with the passage of time, you know, we all know that. Therefore, the best opportunity to experience Japanese culture is, you know, undoubtedly now rather than in the future. Let's say the increase in tourists and the, probably the weather are things you can probably endure. But however, natural disasters and the disappearance of the Japanese culture well, are unfortunately um, avoidable at some point and have a significant impact on Japanese tourism. If you are watching this video while well, still now like want to visit Japan someday, if that's the case, please visit Japan as soon as possible. I know like you are busy and you probably need like certain amount of money so it could be not easy i understand that but well, i'm sure traveling to japan now will be more comfortable and enjoyable than traveling in five or ten years so are you ready to come to japan well before traveling to japan please also check out this video it provides like useful information for traveling in japan all right so thank you for watching i'm waiting for you in japan see you soon